In this video, we're going to discover how to change the subject of a formula. This is a very useful algebraic skill. It means we can rearrange a formula so that a different variable becomes a subject. The subject is the letter that's on its own on the other side of the equals sign. So now T is the subject. We change the subject to make the unknown variable the subject. So with speed, distance and time, if we know the distance and speed, but don't know the time, we want the formula to be t equals. To change the subject, we make use of opposites, adding and subtracting are opposites, multiplying and dividing, squaring and square rooting are opposites, and sometimes we even expand and factorise brackets. Then it's just like solving equations. Make use of these opposites and everything you do to one side, you must also do to the other side. We have to keep everything balanced. So let's have a look at an example. Always start by moving the things that are least connected to our chosen letter. So here we move the 2L first. Opposite of plus 2L is minus 2L. So do that to both sides which means the plus 2L minus 2L cancel on this side. Now we want to get W on its own, so we need to move the 2. At the moment it's 2 times W, so the opposite of times is divide. We need to divide both sides by 2. So divide the whole of this side by 2. These twos cancel each other out, leaving W as the subject. Your turn now. Pause the video, make T the subject and click play when you're ready. Did you get it right? Did you remember to divide the whole of this side by A? Here's another example. Remember that pi is just a number. Don't let it stress you. It's also easier to treat the 4 and 3 as separate parts. Start by multiplying both sides by 3 so that they cancel each other out on this side. Can you now solve the rest of it to make R the subject? First divide by the 4 pi in one go and then cube root everything. Pause the video and give it a go. Did you get it right? Remember that cube root and cubing are opposites, so they cancel each other out. So here are some more for you to do. Pause the video, change the subjects and click play when you're ready. Did you get them right? As I said earlier, sometimes we need to factorise to be able to change the subject. We'll have a look at how to do this in part two. So there we have changing the subject of a formula. Always use opposites and remember to do the opposites to both sides so that it cancels on one side. And we always start with the things that are least connected to our chosen subjects. If you have any questions, comment below. We're here to help. Like and share our videos with your friends.